Hello everyone, my name is Yenidi Abedoli from Nigeria and I'll be speaking on open source movie experience on the Chaos Project. Earlier this year I was accepted into the Contributor 2022 program. It is an open source bootcamp that introduces people to open source contribution and it was put together by Shikod Africa. So I was speaking on my experience on the project, what I gained, what I learned. I will be speaking on the following. My idea of open source contribution before the contributor program, contributing to open source as a newbie, experience gain, Conclusion. My idea of open source contribution before the contributor program. Before being accepted into the contributor bootcamp, I was confused about open source. There was a lot of information on Twitter about open source. People post about their projects and ask people to come and contribute. But I found it difficult to follow through. There were times I tried to look at some projects to contribute, but I couldn't make a headway. I think partly because there's always a lot going on in various projects and trying to find your feet can be a daunting task. Knowing where to start or what to contribute to as a first timer is also difficult. Some issues attacked first timer but the descriptions of the issues are not clear. So it's difficult for someone who has never contributed to open source to make a headway. Contributing to open source as a newbie. The contribution project paired me with Chaos Project. And I was um, part of a team of five. We had three mentors and two open source newbies for the project at hand. The project given was to build a Slack bot to welcome newcomers to the Chaos Slack space. And the bot would also interact with the users. Before then, I had never built any kind of bot. And Looking at the project details and the things we were supposed to do, it looked like rocket science at that point. The fact that there were other people on the team who had mentors, and then there was another open source newbie like me. And when I felt well, encouraged, I could do this. And we started the project. We were given detailed information about the project, there were meetings, and the mentors went all out to ensure that we had the information and support we needed. And that was the push we needed. We broke down the problem into pieces and we took it one step at a time. We looked for um, the best framework to use and we settled for the Slack both framework and it became a success and i can say that without having a support i think i would have felt most like more confused but because there was a support system and then there was detailed documentation of what we expected to do and in simple terms and then there, there was also meetings the mentors we're ready to hop on meetings if we had issues, if we we're not clear about the details, and if we needed technical help. So this encouraged and this helped and actually made the open source contribution easy. Yes, there was work to do, but we were able to do it. It was an amazing experience. And then Aside the fact that, yes, there was a lot of support, there was also the learning curve. But it was easy navigating the learning curve. 
the programming language used basically was JavaScript. And I am familiar with JavaScript. But the project itself, a bot, was a new area. And um, I had to learn a bit of Node.js, which is a plus. And then I had to learn how to use the bold framework. The framework is actually well documented, but there were features that we had to implement that were not explicitly stated. And we had to think outside the box to achieve them. For example, sending a site-wide DM to members, it's not explicitly stated on their documentation. So we just had to read, look through the lines, look at other resources, then combine our programming skills. And we're like, okay, yes, we can do this and we were able to pull it off. And there were times we got stuck at a point, but not for long. Experience gained. The program polished my existing skill set and also developed new skills. My collaborative skills was sharpened and my problem solving skills, um, networking skills. Also, I learned how to read documentation, pay attention to documentation, not just skim through. Because it's something that, oh, I don't know how to do this and I need to rely on documentation to figure it out. Besides that, I picked up new skills, some Node.js, chatbot building, technical writing. I don't think I've ever done that, but I did during this um, program and I want to continue doing that also. And I can say I did a whole lot because now when I'm in unfamiliar territory, I find it easy to navigate because I just realize that, oh yes, well, let's break down the problem and we'll go from there. And then if I have issues, I don't mind reaching out to people, which is something I wasn't doing before now. But now if I have an issue and I know this person will have an idea, I'll reach out to you. And it has helped, helped in my career path. It has helped in the project I work on, and it's been life changing. I'll conclude by saying that contributing to open source has built my skills, my experience, my knowledge base, and I see contributing to open source as my own way of giving back to the tech community. And I think more programs like Contributor should be created as this will help introduce more people to open source contributions. On this note, I'd like to say thank you to Chaos. Thank you to SCH Code Africa. Thank you to everyone that was on my team. Precious, Matt, Elizabeth, Ruth, Thank you, everyone. Bye.